Hello dear friends, ladies and gentlemen. This is uncut fishing and on this summer afternoon, as you can see it's overcast. Very calm. I will try to get this stream. As a matter of fact, I've been waiting for about maybe maybe half an hour and it looked very pale well, unfortunately I didn't start recording because just maybe 10 minutes ago I got a really nice string of takes including a 38 centimeter trout and well, it may be that this is the largest fish I see today so yeah sometimes this happens The stream is running low, I have never fished here before, I have fished in the past slightly upstream, maybe 10 years ago, but probably more, and I didn't know what to expect at all, and the stream is, mu is much wider than I thought, and because it's so wide, the low level of water makes it extremely shallow. Good spots will probably be few and far in between and one of those spots already passed and unfortunately wasn't recording. Anyways, let's forget that and try to find another one. some depth to it that is a small fish it so as I've come to understand in streams like this you have to work even uh, shallow water because that's what they become and basically there is not enough oh there are more small ones but it's it's it wasn't anywhere as deep as it first looked it's very shallow again a couple of takes so small ones i thought in the beginning that those will be the order of the day but then i got that really nice one yeah, as you can see this is very small, so these shallow plains will produce such fish. In the beginning it seemed as if it's a, a deep bend, but, but it's anything but. seems to be pretty deep and takes but I think those are small fish yeah pretty small ones Mm. 
Small, small, small. Here it is. Such a plane, it, it has no, no features of a spot that would be good enough for large trout. Sometimes they sit in these underwater planes, but usually they have to be quite deep. And again, bumps. As you can see, nothing to speak of. Maybe it will go off, come off itself, no. Yep, so what we're looking for are deeper spots and as I mentioned so far I've only seen one and there was a good fish in it, so... So, the moment of truth, that's pretty much the best you can get, at least for some time. Yeah, this branch is not the best I can get. nowhere near the size of the first one so I'm still quite disappointed about it and it didn't take I mean what oh man I had it mm. not very, it's not even, it's probably even less than 30 centimeters. I don't know, was that the same fish? There may be several in there. Again, a very mild jab. So now some small ones. 
you can go over. Yeah, there are several small ones in there, but the king of this band is well, it's it's both lucky and very cautious. At least five attempts and couldn't hook it. Again. But those are smaller fish, I feel. Switch to the rubber worm. Okay, so this worm is pretty worn up. I have put it this way. It looks it looks like it looks bad, but we'll see. I have still plenty of those worms left but don't want to throw this one away I also have a very small split shot split shot is required to force it to sink because it is a floating worm To be frank with you, this thing either works immediately or it doesn't work, usually. I don't have a lot of experience with it. is not interested in it another switch that doesn't come off I'm surprised, actually I'm very surprised. You know what folks, I'll switch off and I'll be back on if and when I find something worthwhile. See you then. Well, I'm back. I found something like a decent spot. I'm st still using the worm. There was a small one in there. Another take. fish yeah oh and it's even worse it's it's a perch there it is
Yeah, they are taking it quite willingly, actually. at least two jabs. But um, I would rather switch back to the spin and... <sighs> Finally. spot is actually pretty pale a bunch of perch in it but that's it to work with that absolutely nothing yeah, a small one sitting in there but just a small one amazing there are streams that will run much lower than this one I mean they will barely be flowing at all but there will be holes there will be deep holes in there and here there are none but a small fish yeah very small ones just small hope that maybe there's a larger one as well smallest one I've got look at that it's so dark if you can see anything I have a polarized film on the lens obviously it 
darkens things up considerably. This looks like maybe it, it had some beavers in it, but nothing now. Dam. Is it a functioning beaver dam? Oh, it seems so. Okay, folks, so this is our last chance. It won't be as pretty as it was downstream, but if I am to get a better fish here. It could probably happen here or nowhere. Okay, that's that's one. Not a large one. But at least a medium sized. There it is. Now this is littered with branches. I have little idea how deep this is. I suspect not very deep. Although actually it's quite high. It depends on how old this dam is. Small fish. takes but I suspect small fish So in this case it's extremely difficult to see what's on the bottom. 
as deep as it's shallow are the logs and the rocks shallow A leaf on. Yeah, I have a leaf on. Mm. Another medium sized fish. A nice medium sized fish. Nice. Here it is. Very large mm, orange dots. Three fish in this beaver dam. Another take, but well, actually, it may be pretty decent. Not that it's large, but not small at least. strange takes it's as if it is like using its body to attack oh man now that's responsible but I'm lucky it's around its head and today that's not the first time this happens I twist it around twice there it is again orange dots about 30 centimeters So, four.
five. I have a catch, a good one, or oh, reach ten. I don't know if I can reach ten, considering that before that I couldn't hook into anything substantial, except for that one fish that you didn't see. Mosquitoes are waking up. Uh, oh man, that was a good take and I was distracted because the mosquito was really taking a hard jab at my eye. again at least a medium it appears a small one six Seven. A medium sized small dash medium. small here it is Is that one of those fishes that I released? I didn't seem to have harmed it. But a very strange splash.
artış Yeah, that fish seems to to be hurt. But it's very strange. Well, that's nature. Hmm. So that's probably the first one, the first real take that I couldn't hook, although maybe I had some, I mean in this beaver dam. giant here it is very different looking 30 plus maybe 13 inches so that's number nine that's number nine and my camera battery is not in the best of shapes so instead of quitting on a better one as I promised let's try and shoot more let's see if we can get a number 10 sooner or later I snacked something that's number 10 See how far we can go. Then is nice actually, but the water still looks pretty decent. date for number 11 mm, I'm 
starting to run out of luck with the casts. Obviously it's difficult not to get branches like this one. is attacking although I have a leaf on. It cared little about the leaf. It took at least four jabs at it. That's not the, the one that that was taking it. It's a smally. Number 11. Oh, it was closer than I thought. Number 12. Did I hook it funny? Yeah, I hooked it, I think, into the tail. Oh, it came off. I hooked it into the tail. So I don't know. It's almost number 12. is one of the smallest I've got above this dam and I wonder if that's not the sign of things to come of depth Still one bend, and maybe there will be some depth in it. No, there is no depth in there. In any case, that was a very... Hmm. Interesting, let's see result, 13 takes, 13 fish, maybe there were actually more takes, but 13 fish hooked. That's a demonstration of how fish will react to drought to low water conditions they will seek out depth oh. small ones attacking I get the feeling those medium ones that I've got there and one sort of nice-ish could have been all there were 
maybe maybe this lying tree could provide one more So, yeah, we're back to small ones jabbing. It was fun while it lasted. So, that and fish hooked and one beaver dam, well, this is not a stream that is stock full of fish and you can get a sense of how beaver dams work in these conditions. So the, there seems to be one more fish in there, see if we can get it. And we'll wrap things up at this. So, folks, oh. <coughs> let's have another go. And while I'm retrieving, this was uncut fishing. Please like, share, subscribe. My channel is now. And not in a very good shape and your support would be highly appreciated and this will be it for now thanks for watching and I'll see you next time <laughs>